here. They can't see everything mm -hmm. we just saw. What did you like about the way that your group uh, performed today? Uh, they performed good. You know, today was all about the details, um, locking in on all our, all our details in the calls, making sure we're conditioned, and uh, making sure that we get back to the basics today. Man, your group is about as talented of one that you could find in the league, especially given how young all you guys are. But with, with the details, this time of year, you've been through this a couple of times, even though you're one of those younger dudes. You've been through this. How much are you seeing the carryover from the detail work that you were doing when we broke for offseason carry over to right now? You know, guys are locked in. You know, guys, you know, over the offseason, they didn't lose what we taught and what we went through last year. You know, it's carried over, so we're able to add more stuff. Um, you know, we don't have to revisit too many things because guys are on top of the playbook and, you know, guys have just showed up and, you know, we got a lot of young guys, but they're mature and, you know, they, they understand the situation that we have and the talent we have in the group. So we just want to go out there and perform well. Now, you're not an old head yet, but you, I mean, you, you've been at it for a little while. Is it starting to feel like, you know, you're, you're the veteran, you're getting, you're doing podium stuff, you're stuck with us more often, like you're one of the guys now. Yeah, you know, I'm obviously I've been here my fourth year, um, you know, my, maybe my second year going into, you know, a bigger role and, you know, I just want to make sure I lead guys. So, I mean, that comes with, I guess that's maturity. So I got to make sure I'm mature enough to just lead my group. That's that's something your head coach has talked to us a lot about. You know, everybody leads differently. And I think I think it's important to kind of have those different dynamics in the room for everybody to, you know, have have people that they can go to in certain instances, in certain circumstances. It, has it been like that, the dynamic for you guys? Yeah, I mean, for us, it's like, you know, guys can come to me, guys can come to KB. Um, even guys go to Elijah, you know, even though he's a young guy, he's, he's smart. I mean, he knows the playbook, you know, he's going to his second year, but it seems like he's been here for the same amount of times I've been here. So, I mean, we got a lot of guys in the group that can lead and guys aren't afraid to ask questions. Amani Hooker hanging out with us fresh off the practice field here at St. Thomas Sports Park. So you're going up against the offense the last couple of days. I know there's uh, a couple of days that we didn't get the opportunity to see, but Pete, guys have been out here working. It seems like everything is everything is operationally sound from from what from what our untrained eyes can see out here on the field. Yeah, I mean, guys from offensively, you know, you can tell they're on top of it. Um, you got guys like Nick Westbrook that you know come in, they'll break player, makes deep passes, makes deep catch for touchdowns, and does little things. And you know, you got Derrick Henry, Ryan Tannehill who's controlling the offense. So you know, we expect them to be on point, and same for us as a defense. Now, a guy like Nick, Nick has seen every different level of what it is to be a professional football player. Coming in as an undrafted guy, now he's uh, a veteran out here and knows all three of the positions at the wide receiver that they ask those guys to play. From your standpoint, when you're going up against a guy like that and seeing the work ethic and seeing those kind of that that day by day progression how big a difference do you see in him from the time that you guys got here to where you are now both heading into year four yeah i mean just from for me it's him seeing on being on special teams making plays there and then the opportunities he had on offense you know he takes advantage of every single one i mean he's, he's a guy i know on offense they can count on and then as defense when offense is on the field we know that nick's out there he's going to make a play or get that first down so so the young guy i mean we we talked about how young the group is anyway but the rookies anyway you got theo you got uh roger mccreer you got a couple of the undrafted dudes working in and getting some good reps what kind of stands out about the new crop of defensive backs the Titans just um, added. we got a smart group I mean honestly I think this is the smartest group we had come in right away I mean not many mistakes I mean obviously little things here and there but you know they're getting the calls across they're getting guys lined up um, and they've been improving ever since uh, May so you know great progression I can't wait to see them go this preseason you know, it just helps you play faster right mm -hmm, definitely I mean when you, when you just go out there and you don't have to think about you know where you got to be and you know we put a lot of time you know in walkthroughs not during practice and in the meeting room as well to make sure that they're on their P's and Q's yeah, you got to be careful when you're out here you don't know who's going to end up harassing you it would have been a good tackle. All right, so for those who can't hear Taylor <laughs> off mic, uh, was this an open field tackling drill or was this in team? No, it was a little team period. You know, D-Hand was uh, towards the sideline. You know, I did my best to make sure I can help use the sideline to help me tackle. So a, ta a tackle on Derrick Henry would have been a nice one. Now, that's not something that a lot of people have the opportunity to say. Yeah, I know. I just take, try to take advantage of my opportunities. Yeah, no question <laughs> about that. Amani Hooker hanging out here with us at Titans training camp. So you're, you're, uh, are you about to be a new dad? Yes, I am. That's yep. incredibly exciting, yep. man. Congratulations. Thank you so much. First Appreciate of, it. I mean, how, how, much, how much of your offseason has been occupied by that? That's a big deal. Yeah, I mean, I mean, ever since I found out, it's all been about you know taking care of my girl, making sure she's good, and then obviously I got, a, I got a more on my shoulders. And I thought I had a lot on my shoulders already, but <laughs> now I got a lot more to live for. So, so who out here has been peppering you with the most fatherly advice? Because you got, you got a lot of dads. There's a lot of kids running out here. It feels great to have, you know, a more – 
familial atmosphere at yep. training camp again. It feels a little yep. more natural to be out here with everybody. Again. Um, Scott Booker, my coach, KB, um, and then Mitch, um, our, our, our pastor. So yeah. I've been a lot of talking to a lot of the guys. Ray will come, talk to me as well. And, you know, I got a lot of a lot of father figures to look up to and ask questions about what, as well. What's, what's the thing you're looking forward to most about being a dad? Um, you know, just loving, loving my boy and make sure that, you know, he's a great human being who just who shows love. Was it a boy? A boy. That's exciting. Yep. Amani Hooker, thanks for hanging out with us, yes, boss. I appreciate, appreciate you stopping appreciate by. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. After practice, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to carry some of the Titans press conferences live out here at training camp. I'm Buck Rising. It's 104.5 The Zone.